everyone, it's me. Welcome back to my channel for a new part of The Sims 2. Let's play Pleasant View Season 2. We're here with the uh, Dina Caliente family. Dina recently was kicked out of her new home um, and swiftly divorced by Malcolm Landgrab, uh, Malcolm IV Landgrab. Um, and she got kicked out and was sent away with her two daughters, Katrina and Marina, forced to leave behind her son, Malcolm V, um, with uh, her ex-husband. Um, and Dina is loathsome. She is livid, absolutely livid. Um, and she is hitted. She's hitted. She's hitted. She has hit rock bottom. She is not in a good place. Um, she's also aging up today, and aging into an elder is um, something that she is really scared and um, no, it, she literally she just doesn't want it to happen. She wants to stay this forever, and she can't because um, we're not magic here in Pleasant View, unfortunately. Not like the other towns where we could maybe make that happen. <laughs> it doesn't make sense here. Essentially, she is not caring for the house or the girls at all. Katrina is juggling school and taking care of her younger sister, Marina, who is doing very poorly because her parents divorced. Um, and she's really upset about that. Um, Dina is also not giving her attention or training her. Like, she hasn't potty trained her or anything. Um, so, yeah, Katrina is trying to do her best but it's hard luckily today is a snow day so katrina does get to spend um some time doing that um jackson has been literally eating snow all night long so i'm going to <laughs> see if we can feed him a treat and get him not to do that anymore oh he's sleeping over here uh praise for staying off simbed and um can i command him to come eat food can we command, go eat food. Oh my god, she's playing in the toilet. You know what? Whatever. We just need her to do anything. Um, Katrina's gonna make some lunch meat sandwiches, but um, Dina is, she's being ignored by um, people. She's like literally, she's at her wit's end. And so she's finally convinced Dustin to come over. Um, and by convinced, I mean she's threatened to him. Um, why is Jackson not moving? Oh my god. Oh my. Um, so yeah, she's literally convinced him to come over by blackmailing him. Um, so we're gonna greet him. Don't play fetch right now, please. Oh, wrong person. I'm on the wrong person, sorry. Don't. Oh god. Oh god. Do I even know how to play this game? No. Greet Dustin. Here we go. Aw, Jackson's such a good boy. Yeah, she's kissing him, but we're going to pretend that they're not doing that right now. Um, and she's going to bring him inside really quickly. Call him over. Oh my god, are you attracted to um, Dustin Broke, Katrina? Because that's a little awkward. Okay, so we're going to come over here and we're going to... Have just some words with Dustin, and those words are, one, how dare you ignore me in my time of need, first of all. Second of all, do you really think that you can get away with this unscathed? If I'm going down, you're going down with me. And Dustin's like, Dina, please don't do this. Like, I can't. And she's like, if Malcolm doesn't come after you, I will make sure that your life is hell. How would your wife feel about knowing about your infidelity, about your affair, that you were woohooing with me for months, months behind her back? And Dustin's like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't dare. And she's like, watch me, watch me right now, because I will freaking do it. I will do it. 
I will do it. Um, she's furious with him. She is livid with him, and she is going to insult him. And she's like, I will tell your wife. And just watch her. Just watch her. And she's like, you better find me some money, or I will tell your wife. And he's like, you know what? I don't have money for you. Go ahead and tell Angela. Tell her. And Dina's like, you know what? I will. <gasps> oh my goodness. Dina, yeah. like that backfired. She thought that she had him wrapped around her finger and she does not. She does not. Um, oh my God, Marina made such a mess of the bathroom. Um, I don't even know if, what she needs. She does need, oh my God, she needs her, she needs a bath. And poor Katrina is just upset. She saw all of that fighting and she's not feeling it whatsoever. Um, but Dina is a woman of her word. If she says, you know what, I'm going to tell your wife, then she's going to tell his wife. But, oh, but he intercepted the call. <gasps> you think that you could really do that to me? Mm. Dina's going to try again, but we've got three hours till our birthday. And, oh, my God, Marina will also be aging up, and it's not going to be pretty. She's going to be... Um, not in a good place for sure and uh, Katrina has to do all the cleaning um, and Dina's going to invite over just some close friends only um, we got 16 more simoleons from smart investing um, that's surprising <laughs> I didn't think we would um, yeah and Dina's just concerned. She's like, she doesn't know how she's going to make money. She's like, do I go after the Goths again? But the Goths are the ones that exposed her and ruined everything that she had. And she doesn't know how to fix it now. Like, she has no leverage anymore. And, like, no one's going to believe her. And that's just, um, it's really unfortunate. Um, not sure what we're going to do. Honestly. Ooh, but her phone's a going. Let's go ahead and answer. No, I don't want to be a part of that right now. Thank you for the spamming me. Oh, poor Katrina is just not in a good mood. Oh, I need her to eat some food. And she's like, oh, poor Katrina. She's just stressed out. Like, she, she's glad to be away from Malcolm, that's for sure. But she now has so much work between school and taking care of Marina and then making sure that her mother is like eating and not living in a pigsty. Um, it's a lot for Katrina and she feels so bad for her mom and no one else has sympathy for her. She feels like she's the only one that understands her mother and, um, and loves her mother and that, um, that hurts. It does. So, Dina is going to throw a party because this is for her, and she's going to invite Dawn, she's going to invite Brandy, she's going to invite Nina, uh, which is going to be really awkward because Nina and Dawn have broken up, and that's um, not all that good. Um, I do, Jennifer is away, so she won't come, um, but a, we could invite Chico too, and he can bring his wife, um, and maybe they can bring Tessa if we know Tessa. Uh, da, 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 da. We don't. Oh, that sucks. Uh, but Katrina can invite Tessa uh, on her own. And um, we'll invite Dante because he is our nephew. And that's cool. And I think that's it. I think that's all the people I want. Yeah. And we're going to come and buy the heirloom cake. This cake allows us to age up Dina as well as Marina. So that's going to be fun. And um, I'm going to have her clean that up. But Oh, Tessa's here. What the heck? Let's give her a friendly hug. Yay. Okay, friendship. Um, we do need fun. So Katrina's going to watch some tea. The... Um, Chico is here. Um, we should give our sister a hug. Brandy was over just yesterday. So was uh, Dawn. So that was great fun. 
Um, but Dina's really, again, not looking forward to aging up. She does not want to age up at all. Zero percent. Oh, Dante seems to like Tessa. That's interesting. Uh, we should give our cousin a hug, too, because um, we haven't seen him in a while. Um, so I think first we will age up Marina. Um, she is about to, like, pee her little pants. Poor thing. There she goes. Okay, so we're going to hold her. Um and change her diaper okay cool and then we can come and who was crying oh nina because dawn is here and like they've obviously broken up and oh, my God. um but katrina will bring marina to the cake <laughs> And everyone's gonna come and look, and she. I'm very curious how she's going to look <gasps> now. Mm, I'm not looking forward to that. It's gonna be an interesting looking child. And the fact that she's also growing up badly, it's gonna be very interesting. So, at least Katrina is a loving sister and is very doting. Oh my god, girl, your face and your cheekbones, girl. Honey, you boxy. <laughs> you are boxy. Let's see how you look. Oh, no, uh, oh, I don't get the animation. Oh, she doesn't look so bad. Um, but she grew up very poorly. Um... Oh, it looks like you can't age up with this cake anyways more than once. So I have to buy a whole new one and have Dina blow out the candles. Oh my goodness. Dina is not ready to be an elder. No, she's so regretting this and she's so not looking forward to this at all. Even though all of her friends like her sister and Dawn and Brandy are all elders now too. And they're fine with it. I mean, like, no one really likes to be too old, but she is just, she knows that this is the end of her, that she has not accomplished what she wanted to, and it's just not good. Yeah, you're not really laughing. <laughs> Honey, I see you. You're not really smiling. Oh, this gets an animation. Sleep what? Ooh. Sermana Pushe! The wing. Okay, and I don't care about. Ah. I uh, hit the microphone mute button. Really pretty um, smart of me. So the rest of this episode was filmed um, me thinking that my audio was being captured and it wasn't. Um, and so you miss a couple things like um, me talking about, and like now I don't even remember what I said because I recorded this uh, days ago. Um, but um, Dina is uh, aged up now. She's an elder. This is just really not ideal for her. And she feels like she can't do the things that she wants to do anymore. Like she's pretty much, she wanted to ensure that she was settled this, um, settled in a good place. She had the home, she had the wealth, she had the power before she hit the stage and she had it all and it went away. So she's extremely bitter to the goths she's extremely bitter to um the burbs she's extremely bitter to the land grabs and she's extremely bitter to dustin broke so even though she's taking a nap she again tries to call um angela and tell her um that her husband had been cheating on her for months not just cheating on her and having an affair with dina herself um but also plotting um to uh, and working with her to expose the goth family um, and doing just like really like criminal things. And Angela is actually thanking Dina for uh, telling her these things. And Dina's um, surprised. She was wanting, like, more expecting Angela to, um, you know, have a very negative reaction or like yell at her or not even believe her. Um, and Angela's like, you know what? Thank you for telling me. Um, 
I'm aware of these of some of his things, but this is just, you know, just one more confirmation. And Dina's like, uh, I guess you're welcome. Uh, and so they kind of hang up, and they're um, they're fine. But um, yeah, it's getting hard because, um, you know, that was one thing. And while Dina may have inadvertently um, contributed to Dustin and Angela's marriage coming through a major rough patch that may end in separation i don't know quite yet um she is not feeling quite as satisfied as she thought she would be so that's not all that great but um yeah one of the other things was that she had been um contacted by malcolm and he was essentially <sighs> telling her that he could buy lulu lounge off of her and by could buy and offering to buy he was more or less telling her give me lulu lounge because you can't manage it you can't run it anymore it's not going to make enough money for you i can give you the money for that place and dina's not sure what to do like i'm frozen here because i think i'm like explaining <laughs> i think this is where i'm explaining this that she's like this is her last piece of um major of a major asset that was the money from everything she's done it was goth money mortimer bought that for her but malcolm had convinced and helped her grow lulu lounge so essentially malcolm saying like i'm a business partner with lulu lounge and um as such because i invested so much he's essentially a stakeholder he wants to buy his share of it um, and own it for himself. And Dean is at this point where she is concerned about her income. She is concerned about um, the money in their house. How are they supposed to live? Um, how is she supposed to take care of her daughters? Um, but more importantly, how is she supposed to just, you know, have anything? And so she is really stuck between a rock and a hard place um, because Malcolm is um, deciding these things. I froze on her for literally a long time um so yeah i was looking because i was trying to see if like um we could just give it to malcolm um not necessarily not necessarily sell it and we could give it to katrina but katrina's not really in a place to like run lulu lounge herself and and protection so um that's pretty much that um katrina's also considering and not even going to university i think i said this earlier in the part but she's considering not going to university just because she's so concerned about marina and how she's going to grow up it's it's a lot going on and um you know we have since marina is no longer a toddler we can sell all of her things and um and get her a bed and i just had to rearrange their room um i feel so dumb that like i muted my mic because this would have been so much better if um it was live together but now you get most of my voiceover and it's like one of those weird like speed builds but it's happening irl we're just kind of like watching give her the nice pink bed but um yeah, um, Marina also doesn't look terribly, but she looks a lot like Malcolm. Like, she looks so much like her father. And I feel really bad for her because um, her, she was separated from her father and her twin brother. And that has to hurt. Like, twins have such a strong connection to one another, even close siblings. You have such a strong connection, she feels like a part of her is missing. Um, and it's not like she ha can reach out to him. He's one, he's still a toddler. He will be a child, but um, there's no way for her to contact him or her father. And, you know, she loved them both. It's really upsetting that she is being... Um, uh, the word the word is escaping me she's being um, punished for her mother's actions but um, what I am gonna do is um, start to wrap up this part if you guys are enjoying this series to give this video a fat thumbs up subscribe for more as I put them out kind of regularly um, thank you for your patience your understanding I know this part is really not ideal because it's gonna be like the awkward voice um but i appreciate you guys so much um your love and support is what keeps this lp going again i'm trying my best to <laughs> put these videos out um as often as i can i've had a busy couple of weeks um but after um 
after these two weeks are pretty much over, then I will um, I will be better off. It would also help if I don't mute my mic going forward. So I'm going to be a lot more careful with that. So sorry. So yeah, I love you guys so, so, so very much. I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye, guys. Now I've learned to never help you out.